guys, and welcome back to Roaming LPS. So today is the second episode of Painting LPS! This is when you pretend to be excited. So today's episode is gonna be all about bases. An LPS base is basically just like the original um, paint job and whatever for your LPS custom. It's more important than you think, actually. So we're gonna get into the do's and don'ts of base figures when you're about to custom. So our first tip is to not use these guys. These two LPS have very dark color palettes. Both of them are black with very little other colors. If you paint them, it will be a nightmare. Using dark figures to paint only makes your job harder because then you have to put on way more coats just to get the color out. Instead, I recommend the following colors for your first custom. White, tan, and gray. All three of these colors make it incredibly easy to paint on a base coat or any other color straight up from the can, so you don't have to put on like five bajillion white coats before you actually get to your pig color. The second tip is to not use LPS that have, well, sparkles, fur, or flocking powder. Flocking powder, fur, and sparkles are incredibly hard to remove. And for furry LPS, whether it's its tail or its ears, this is just fabric. If you remove it, there will be no ears, and you will be missing a piece of your LPS. Instead, we highly recommend these LPS because they don't have anything like that on them and are way easier to remove paint off of. My third tip is to not use LPS that have heavy paint on them or have patterns all over them. Both of them take a long time to get off and it'll also spread around the LPS's entire face. And it can take a really long time to get every little speck off of them. So it isn't really a good idea. Instead, I highly recommend you use LPS that have little fur altercations, so it's easier to remove the paint. Now this tip is only for people who customize the new LPS, so if you don't do that, I suggest you skip ahead. I'll put a skip time here. So these are pets from the Pets in the City line, and I suggest that you do not customize them at all because of their plastic. You see their plastic is very, very soft, what this does is when you're trying to paint, the paint will slip off, unless you were to sand your pet, which would cause damage and the paint still wouldn't come out smooth. So I highly recommend you don't use these pets. Instead, LPS like these are way better because they have the newer, more stiffer plastic. Ways you can tell that these are the newer LPS is that they won't have that little Pets in the City sticker on their back for their app, and they also will of course have a different feel of their plastic. And if you didn't already notice, they also don't have deco bits. So these LPS are way better when you're trying to customize the newer ones. Now for our final tip, it's basically very simple. And that is that you, for your first custom, try not to customize base figures that have little to no mistakes or blemishes on them. Now you may already be asking yourself, But Julia, didn't you say it was perfectly fine if you painted mint LPS? Now while I did say that, I would just recommend that you started out with a more damaged LPS. When you're just starting out, your paint won't be as smooth as when you've done it for a couple years. So if you don't want to ruin your good LPS, I suggest you start out on LPS that look like this. As you can probably already see, this one has some serious blemishes on his nose and mouth, and this one just basically had a crayon scribbled all over it. So they are damaged and they are totally open for painting. And that, my friends, is the last tip. Although now I must introduce someone to you. So as a new thing at the end of these paint videos, I've decided I'd start showing my new customs, and this is my newest one. This is Mocha, guys, and she is my coffee custom. She has little hearts on her eyes, if we can zoom in a little bit and focus. Um, she has little hearts on her cheeks, not eyes. <laughs> and then she has little hearts on her tail, and I think that she came out really nice. Um, and yeah, that's about it for her. And that's all for our episode today, guys. If you want to subscribe, the subscription is down below. Make sure you hit that bell icon so you know whenever I post a daily video. And 
keep painting.